Yo, Saka Fett, I'm Sammy Bass. In this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly mix your Ama Piano instrument on an FL Studio 21. First, we're gonna see how to mix the melody and after the drum so you don't kill the vibe, the rhythm of your instrumental. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we start, let's talk about headphones. If you have the budget, please make sure to buy good headphones. For example, mine, I'm using the Sennheiser HD6 on Android. It is a very good headphone. It is an open back headphone. Open back means when you're playing something in your headphone, someone sitting next to you will be able to hear it. That's very interesting. And then it help with heel fatigue, guys. You can find some good open back headphone for less than $200 and they are gonna help you so much. If you don't have the budget, make sure you know the headphone that you're using. Try to do active listening with them till you know them perfectly. So now let's get to the mix the first thing is to see if the gangster gen was good normally when i'm creating my beat i automatically start with my gangster gen this is the reason why when you're sending your beat to an engineer you send the rough mix so you can really see the vision behind the instrumental that's gonna be very helpful so you don't lose the initial vibe of your instrumental so let's do that real quick and also, instrumental that I'm gonna mix today, it's an Ama Piano. It's gonna be a song for my EP. I dropped the video last week, I think. You can go check it out. And it's a really good instrumental. Okay, I think I'm basically okay with the with the gangster gen and the only thing is this vocal that i have i really want to reduce it a little bit because it is a background vocal not the main vocal let's switch to mono too now that i'm sure my gangster gen is good now we're gonna jump to the next thing uh also guys one thing i really want you to know is that the gang staging and the compression can kill the vibe of instrumental for those dancing vibe dancing instrumental if you add too much compression they're gonna simply kill the vibe of your instrumental you can use compression just to glue everything together but not to try to compress everything because those who want to be free in your mix now let's just jump to eqing i'm gonna try to eq some element that i think that need some eq so we can clean everything up first of all it's gonna be this vocal i think i might remove some of the low frequencies uh, let me do that before the reverb and the pancake uh, filter EQ. Let's see. This session is not uh, a session that is organized, but I know where everything is because I just create the beat. So I'm just gonna go like that so I can keep my uh, creativity. I don't need to go and organize everything and then after try to um, mix it. I'm gonna go like that. I'm going to always listen in context, but first let, let's do that in solo. For example, I have this sound also, I want to be here. Okay. We're not gonna remove too much because uh, we want to keep the soul of the instrumental. Nice. Let me see if if I add um the the uh, SC twenty what kind of vibe we're gonna find. So I really love this second preset. Nice. 
guys now let's go and listen in context okay i think i have to add some game Nice. Okay, now guys, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna what every drums to the mixer, and then I'm gonna add some distortions just to make them excited a little bit. Starting right here, and then I can give them some color. I really love to use something like this and now guys we're gonna work to this track only that's mean that's gonna be our drums boom and then we can dock this one to the right so we can have them right here first thing first guys i'm gonna add a console emulation we'll go to boy and next thing gonna be adding a compressor so we can use the lala just try to see what sound good I'm gonna only compress like minus one. Not too much. Nice. And guys, now I'm gonna try to add some distortion. Use the British clean. You see, it's gonna destroy it. But now we're gonna blend them together. And now guys, I'm gonna compress the bass a little bit guys. Don't over compress anything. One thing I really love about the compressor is I have the mix button, the mix knob. That means you can find the right spot and then mix them, blend them together. Let's switch to mono and then listen. Let's see if we can do something on this shaker. Nice. Add some flanger. <laughs> nice, I love it. Take this one right here and then let me add it to a mixer track. I'm gonna remove some of the low too. Filter. Go to low cut. Sound nice. The drums are bouncy. Okay, now let's go to the last part of this song. I call this one our uh, violin. This one is a preset in Morphin, guys. You just go to string and then the last preset. Okay, nice. And... Maybe we move a little bit. I can they take this same one, the same right here, and then put it right here. Guys, you can see that I do a lot of look at. So look at help clean your mix you don't remove the low frequencies on instrument that have them and then you don't use them it's gonna make your mix sound boomy so you clean 
all those low frequencies that you don't really need on some instrument so you can leave this space for your bass so now Why right there I want this to be a little bit louder Let's shoot two more notes to see Nice, I think sound nice Now guys, I'm going to listen to everything So let's see Nice. That's okay. And let's go for this part right here. Let's see if we can add more reverb to see what's gonna happen. Nice. I'm crazy. I think that's it. Everything sound nice, sound clean, and I can hear everything loud enough. And sometimes people talk about mixing like it is something that is impossible for a beginner, but you have to know that you can mix your instrumental. One thing you need to do is spend some time do active listening and also try to compare your mix with professional mix. For example, you can compare your mix to a Davido song, whiskey song, and see how far they are in terms of quality. Don't overthink about mixing. Mixing is like you try to do make everything sound loud enough and clean enough so they don't fight together. You're gonna be precise on your EQing. Don't compress too much. If you over compress, it's gonna kill the vibe of your instrumentals. And sometimes when you are in stereo, it gives you the perception that something something is not loud enough but when you switch to mono and then you lower the gain on, on your audio interface or on your computer you will see that oh it is loud enough i don't have to add more gain this is how you deal with gain stage i think this is a decent mix everything sounds nice clean and i love how it sounds the bounce the drums are so bouncy and i really love it the bass remember that on the bass i compress a little bit i don't compress too much guys and also i use the mix knob on the lala compressor that that i use from analog obsession don't forget you can get those plugins for free on the analog obsession website so uh, once i got the vocals i will get back and show you how i mix the vocal of for this song guys so and now i'm just gonna let you Enjoy the first verse and the chorus. That's it guys, thanks for watching. I hope now it's easier for all to mix your instrumentals. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next one.